2086. It's the Secretary of State's number one legislative priority. He ran on it in the campaign, and now we've delivered. The Secretary of State's role is administrative and enforcement, not changing the law. Last year, the priority was a massive election security integrity bill. This year, it's a cleanup and fix problems that we've seen in the election cycles the last two or three times. I don't view this as a cleanup bill. I view this as a cover-up bill. I want to specifically talk about KS 25-3009B1. One of the changes that the Secretary of State's office is suggesting is that we use digital images to audit our elections. Legislative intent was clear. It says paper ballots in the statute. If I had a $100 debt to you and I gave you a photocopy of a digital image of a $100 bill, you would not consider that debt paid. Why do we need this bill? For 30 years, the state of Kansas has needed an election cleanup bill. This begs the question, if the use of digital images for post-election audits was legal, then why is the Secretary of State now trying to recodify it into law? Either it was lawful to use the digital images or the Secretary of State's office misled me and the public about their adherence to the legislature's clear intent to utilize the paper ballots for post-audit elections. If a, quote, glitch occurs, like what happened in the 2022 recount in Cherokee County, the only way to catch something like this is to use the paper ballot against the machine tally. Otherwise, the machine is simply auditing itself, in which case no one would ever know because for some reason, we the people are not allowed to see the system log files, the cast vote records, or the source codes used in elections. In newsflash, neither is the legislature or law enforcement. You cannot go look at the source code of the machines. Good luck. Uh, some of the concerns I've heard raised about this bill, uh, it does not in any way increase the Secretary of State's authority. In fact, it, it confirms that the Secretary of State in Kansas has very limited authority on elections. We have a bottom-up system in Kansas. The fact that this is further abdication by Congress to give their power to the executive branch. Why would you make the Secretary of State executive over elections when you have plenary constitutional power over elections?